Okay, one thing we want to take a look at, and that's in troubleshooting the machine from the very start, is to determine what's wrong with it. If it's not working, you have to, there's an easy way, and, and a lot of people don't follow this procedure, but go to the very start. In other words, unplug the distiller, check the outlet with something, either a light bulb or a power tool or whatever, make sure that outlet is working. If that's working, unplug the distiller from the storage tank, plug the appliance or the light bulb into the, into the outlet, like this is what this would be for, or your test meter, and see if it's working to that point. If that's okay, then what you want to do is take the cover off your distiller and see if the water level is up about half full where it should be. If that's the case, then you do have some electrical problem here and the first place you check is hit the reset, see if that works. If it pops and it still starts working, then you can, you can figure that that's probably all right. A one-time reset is not a problem. If you have to hit the reset repeatedly over a week or two, then you got a problem, you got to check, check back with your wiring and see what else is going on. But follow it through, the same thing. Now, if you come in and, and you notice there's no water in a still or it's very low, it's very close to the heating element, then go back, take your pre-filter off, or disconnect it, and see if you got good water flow at that point. That's to see if your pre-filter is plugged up and stop the water from coming in. If the water's come in, at that point you got a good flow, the filter is okay, then the next point is to come in here, open this up, and then raise the switch up and down and see if water starts coming into the still. So start at, always start at one end from the source end and work your way through in a, in a methodical method. Don't try and randomly check this, check that. Okay? It'll make life a lot easier for you.